All right, folks, it's Pitching East 88. We are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, going on to chapter number two of Case 46. Yep. Yeah, she, in the last episode, she was talking about him being a womanizer. Basically, he's Tiger Woods. A famous golfer buried in a golf course and left to die, and yet she shows no sympathy. What kind of grudge did she hold against him? Well, you're right, Ace, we better stop by Mrs. Price headquarters. It's only Case 46. She won't be a part of it yet, but oh, look at that. Him with a couple women. Knew that was going to happen. So these are the headquarters of Martha Price's campaign. I must say, she spared no expense, but she's nowhere to be seen. Well, I like your idea, Ace. If we can't talk to him, we might as well look, have a look around. Heck yeah. Let's see what this chick's hiding. Briefcase, cap, golf bag. That's going to be important right here. Paper ball, cap, gift box, briefcase, video camera. Really, it was only the uh, golf bag. Interesting. I would have thought it would have been maybe a couple more items. So did you find anything here, Ace? Anything about Martha Price's whereabouts? Holy guacamole, this golf bag is marked with Tony Webb's name. But how did it get here? Let's have a look inside. Uh, yes we will. As you can see, I have plenty of stars. I plan on doing a whole lot of examination with these things. Ooh. Oh, here we go, the spa. So what did you find inside Tony's golf bag, Ace? What's well, a note written on a flyer from the spa? 4.15 p.m. Meet me there. Tony had a rendezvous there. Oh, and look, Ace, Martha is arriving. We have to talk to her about the interview. It's your call, Ace. Should we go to the spa first or talk to Martha Price? Um, let's talk to Martha. Very curious. Very curious. Inspector Ace, have you seen my interview? Here, have a glass of wine with me to celebrate that successful speech. Inspector Ace never drinks during service, Mrs. Price. You have discussed the content of an ongoing murder investigation more than on unfriendly terms. You realize that it makes you quite suspicious. Well, yes, I know that, but Tony Webb was just the perfect opportunity to send out a message to my voters. The polls indicate they expect me to be more firm in my TV interviews. Well, if you despise him so much, then why did Inspector Ace find his golf clubs in your headquarters? You know, my headquarters are teeming with people these days. Anyone could have dropped it here. That's why I'm always... So I always leave mine back at the golf course. Oh, so she plays golf as well. If everything just is just polls and voters with this woman, that's the only thing she ever talks about. It gives me the creeps. Anyways, we know that she knew Tony Webb and did not hesitate to throw him under the bus at the first occasion. That makes her a strong suspect. Yeah, but again, I don't think she's going to be really anyone to really look into. What else can we find here? Lotus flower. I see the duck. Golden tablet. Of course he has a golden tablet. Duck. Golf cart. Oh, there you go. It's like a decked out one. Shark fin. Champagne. Champagne. Cool. We got a couple things we get to look at. And this is chapter 2, which always has like a 15 hour one that we're going to have to do. Well look, Ace, this tablet is made of gold. Who the heck could buy something like that? And more importantly, do you think you can crack its password? And great job spotting Tony Webb's golf cart parked outside. He painted his name on it. How vain can you get? Anyway, you're right. We better have a closer look at it. Oh, and you're right, Ace. We better not forget the note you found in Tony Webb's golf bag earlier. According to it, he was supposed to meet someone here. Well, the only customer is that, over, is that woman over there pacing back and forth. You're right, Ace. Maybe it's the person Tony was supposed to meet. Let's talk to her. And the plot thickens. I think it's her. Excuse me, miss. Are you the person Tony Webb was supposed to meet here at 415? Yes, I'm Laura Harrington. Tony was my boyfriend. Sorry, I'm still a bit emotional. That's well, perfectly understandable, Miss Harrington. Could you tell Inspector Ace a little about your, your relationship with Tony? 
I'm a golfer on the female circuit. I met Tony at a charity event. I was just starting off, and he was willing to help me train. He was so nice at the beginning. But he was so focused on his career, things became tense between us. When I was... When I think he was always berating me for drinking wine before big events, when he was doing things so much worse. So much worse? What are you talking about? Well, he was cheating on me, left and right, with more girls than I can count. But I just couldn't leave. I loved him. Despite everything, I still loved him. Dude, seriously. They took it a lot from Tiger Woods. I like it. I like it. I'm all for it, man. Are you going to do something that stupid? You deserve to get caught. CDH. CG. No. Uh, this one? Nope. Uh, this one. Oh, oh boy. Not the best of this. Great job unlocking that golden tablet ace. Did you find who it belongs to? You're right. We've seen this picture before on Zach Holden's computer. Holy moly, this must be his tablet. Quick, let's send it to Alex. Oh. Interesting. Six hours. Nice. What about this golf cart, though? What's this golf cart going to contain? Oh, two. I like it. That's very, very nice. You found some strange substance on your victim's golf cart, you say. Hmm. I wonder what that is. It took me a while, but I figured out why you were so interested in that golf cart, you know. It's because it was at the spa, right? Well, you're right. Since Sonny was buried under the fifth hole, he couldn't have driven his cart back to the spa, which means his killer is the one who drove the cart. You'll never stop to amaze me, Ace, and I hope Grace will amaze us too by telling us what the substance the killer left behind. Yeah, I wonder how long it'll take her. Is, is this going to be the 15 hour? Oh, two six hours. I love it. Well, hey guys, I'll see you guys back here in six hours. I'm pitching his 88. Ciao. Alright, let's finish these things off. So I took a look at Zach Holden's tablet and I found some interesting things about his partnership with Tony Webb. Judging from their numerous email exchanges, two of them fell out when Tony tried to get a bigger share of the profits from the golfing app. He blackmailed Zach by talking about a secret, although he gave no details. There were also a lot of creative insults. Zach seemed to be at the end of his tether. The last emails he sent to Tony was really threatening. If word comes out of it, you're out. You're done. Permanent. Wow, thanks a lot, Alex. You're right, Ace. Zach has some explaining to do. After you. Very interesting, Zach. To pink substance. Took a look at that pink substance you collected from Tony's golf cart, and it has a pretty distinctive molecular, molecular structure. It has triglycerin, a combination of fatty acids and glycerin. To be perfectly clear, it's the main component of soap. Well, I'd like to think that most people wash themselves daily, Grace, but maybe I'm being optimistic. Well, that's not all. I've also isolated molecules of artificial scents, and more precisely, artificial strawberry. Wow, so Tony's killer has got a taste for strawberry soap. Duly noted. See, I think it is the chick. Let's talk to Zach. Finish off this chapter. Mr. Holden, we have records of your email conversations with Mr. Webb, and their contents were quite telling. Why was Tony Webb blackmailing you? Is anything secret these days? Well, it's the internet. What was I expecting? Here goes my hopes of enjoying the, this glass of wine in peace. I met Tony during a golf training course. We hit it off right away, and I told him about the idea of developing a golf game. He loved it. We made a deal so I could use his likeness. But then he tried to double-cross me. He pretended to know a secret about me, and tried to blackmail me into giving him a bigger share of the app's earnings. Was there any ground to his accusations? Did he really learn something you wanted to hide at all costs? What was the secret, Zach? He claimed that I stole the idea of a friend net from a former partner. Stupid, completely stupid, but if he started that rumor, I would have been done for. Just like Mark Zuckerberg, man. Love it. So Tony Webb tried to blackmail Zach about friend net. What do you think, Ace? Do you believe Zach's virgins or Tony's? Well, yes, you're right. If the information Tony was true, it would give Zach a perfect motive to kill him. Well, we have to keep an eye on him. Ace, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I wanted to say that I'm here if you ever need help with Mr. Webb's murder investigation. It's just so sad what happened to him. I remember meeting him with my wife. He was so nice. You're interested in golf premieres? I wouldn't have thought. Oh no, we saw him at one of Martha Price's early meetings. That's why I was so surprised when she said all those mean things about him. Tony Webb was one of her celebrity endorsements. What? Ooh, the plot thickens. 
Well, anyways, guys, that wraps up Chapter 2. Stay tuned for Chapter 3, where we unmask the murderer. See you guys in a little bit. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.